Welcome, Taurus. Thank you for joining me. Our souls are expanding. Lionsgate set off in motion. That beautiful, beautiful sun energy and our desire to face our fears. Let's just see what's going down. What's happening? The Empress. You're connecting to peace, healing, wisdom, and everlasting life. Something that's connected to our ancients and the stars, the cosmos, spirit. You're birthing something here, whether it be actual birth or energy. But I, I almost feel like you're birthing new energy. And it's beautiful, beautiful energy. Like I can feel the, the sh I can even see the, like the chakra colors. There is beautiful swirls of the most gorgeous pink and purple. And what's activating them is the green, the heart chakra. This has to do with your heart chakra. Letting go. But this, this pink energy. Connected to your third eye and the crown. Beautiful. Working away. Eight of Pentacles. At manifesting. And this is manifesting after the fires. The burning away of what's lower vibrational. The transforming. It's like you're taking the sword out of your heart. Like you're removing your pain and you are completely allowing growth. You're completely allowing it in. There is strength. You found the strength to transform. With the two of swords, the creation of peace. And we do that by connecting to the moon. The moon calls us. We go within and then we connect to the sun. This has to do with emotional freedom. This has to do with, you know, putting the light within that hole. It's like we go on that expansion, the moon calls us, and then we put the light within, deep within that darkness, and there's our soul's expansion. And then we activate that beautiful sunlight energy. And this is what you've done here. Here's your growth. Here's the mandala flower blossoming after all of this hard work. After all this hard work to connect and integrate the light and there's an expansion and then there's a creation of a path that was not there before and balance is restored. It's like, you know, the devil energies pay out. All this hard work you get paid out for it. What you burned away, the fires you walked through for it to blossom and to rebirth and you found the strength to do so we know that we found the strength you found the strength to begin to manifest again and transform you face your darkness here you understand creation and destruction and i really feel like that's what you're working on here you understand creation and destruction you understand that lesson very well now and it's all to do with what happened here when you were creating your peace when you were defending yourself you know, one of these swords represents a, a sort of defense, a sort of clarity for the 5D and one for the 3D. And you've got that and it's connected to wish fulfillment. Connecting to the light and your 10 of cups. But you're filling that ninth cup right now within. 
and it's all to do with the Hierophant. And there's your Ten of Cups. There it is right there. Because you've got the key now. Because you connected to the light. There you are. There you are. This is beautiful. And going within. Having that third eye expansion. Allowing that light within to expand. To see. To show you what it has to show you. And it has to show you this. The sort of clarity is actually showing you the light. It's actually helping you to literally integrate peace within your mind. And that peace is oozing now and trickling into your soul. And there's the three of wands, a new dawn, a new day, manifestation time. And there's what you burnt away. There's what you burnt away. You burnt away the five of pentacles, the lack of, in order to manifest again, which is why you started to create peace. And now there's balance restored. But your main message is here. The Hierophant is committed to his self-improvement through furthering his education, private meditation, and devotion to his group. He is respectful of traditions. He is shown as a two-headed raven, an incredibly wise and a mystical bird. Two heads symbolize the many facets of his mind, all of which are part of the greater whole. The Hierophant is not held back by closed-minded thinking. He holds the keys to life. He has worked hard to earn the honor of holding them. He stands tall and proud, upheld by a scarab beetle. The beetle represents the movement of the sun and the passing of the days, growth, development, and the metamorphosis we can achieve through higher learning and self-development. Embrace your learning, become rigorous in your studies and consistent in your practices Spread your wings and grow. And that's what you're doing here. You're spreading your wings and you are growing. You're creating. That's beautiful. Now let's just see what's being activated. You got the key. You got the key, Taurus. Where are you going? the heck was that as far as sometimes like the spirit's just moving through me hey. transition the frequency of transition supports our deep understanding of the ever-changing nature of existence and our lives so that we can learn to let go surrender to the process and allow transition to occur with ease and grace and that's i feel like that's a message here like if you're just still sitting here sitting here not acting you need to act. And, you know, like these two cards I feel like are connected. The key is to act. To not just sit there for forever. To transition. And that's how you have, you birth the space. And then create here. Because... You need to find the strength to now act. Because you're manifesting. Why so? Let's just get one more. <clears throat> Authority, a frequent... The frequency of authority reminds us that true authority is powerful, directed, and realized, yet receptive, wise, and loving. And that's yin and yang being in flow. That's connected to having strength. Four of pentacles. There is growth, the creation of stability. And that's connected to the three. 
The King of Cups. Yeah, you need to see through the illusion of what you're putting in your cup. And I don't even think for you it's what you're putting in your cup. I think it's what you are connecting to in this space here. So, you may very well be feeling like you just don't want to act yet because of your emotions. You're stuck. I feel like you can't pick a path because you're stuck in indecision because of your emotions. But you need to see through the illusion because that cup is part of you. Your emotions are part of you. What you're avoiding is actually part of you. You're running from a piece of you. And you're working and working away for your nine of cups and ten of cups. But you still need to connect to the cup to act. Because you're going to heal. And this is about your spiritual path. But I need to know, I need to know why you don't want to act for you. I need to help you. Just feel called to do so. Why? Why don't you want to act? You know, I was called to read that card first. And then you, you saw I put it down and then I picked up this card. And this card, but that's because, you know, the cards in your reading, see that we're showing that, yes, there was a lot of positive movement in here. I was called to read this card first and then I read this one because you know what I felt? No, there's a lot of positive movement. Let's get the message here. But this is obviously realistically what I feel now is going on. There's a, you're stuck somewhere. You're stuck from moving because of your emotions. And you just need to connect and see through an illusion. And it's connected to why you're feeling this lack of and why you're in creation and you needing to connect to the cup. What do you need to do to connect to the cup? And there it is right there. The knave of chalices. So you're going to connect to the cup. That is the knight of chalices. You need to reconnect to that cup. Because then the wheel turns. The wheel actually turns. You're expanding here. You're getting back in flow. And then we have the Knave of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Wands. Two cards the same here again. You're going to begin acting on your creation. This is how you start you start acting. You you move out of pause from here and then you passionately move forward. You passionately move forward because you reconnect back to the cup to create with. You stop being afraid of your emotions. They're a part of you. So stop being afraid of your emotions. They are a part of you. That is the message. And don't be afraid to act on your emotions. Do enough inner child healing that you can trust yourself. And that's what, the, at the end of the day, this is about for you. This is about inner child healing. Where are you going? Where are you going? And there it is. You're expanding on your spiritual path, on your spiritual quest.
This is your growth. Balance achieved, bird's eye view, passions restored. I want to thank you for joining me here. Don't be feeling like this anymore. Do the work to heal. Do the work to transform. And follow that light. Follow that light home. I want to thank you for joining me here. I will see you again soon. Take care. Universal love. The frequency of universal love activates the connection we feel to each other, to our planet, and to the whole of existence, ourself. And it's number 44. You need to connect to universal love, to the planet, to the whole within yourself. And that's part of your nine of pentacles. I want to thank you for joining me here. I will see you again soon. Take care. Don't forget, you've got the key. It's within.